Welcome back to Garden Talk, brought to you by the Penn State Erie County Extension Master Gardeners. I'm your co-host for today, Mike Bailey, and I'm here along with Ellen DePlacido. Ellen, good morning. Good morning, Mike. Hey, it's a beautiful day, isn't it? It is, finally. Okay. <laughs> so what do you want to talk about today? We're going to kind of get out of the garden a little bit, aren't we? A little bit. We're little. kind of going to move into our yards. Okay. Right? Talk <laughs> yes. a little bit about trees right now. Planting trees and mm -hmm. shrubs. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you we were just before we started recording, I told Ellen, she knows how crazy I get about this subject. I had a little crazy idea to tell you too, but I'll, I'll let that go for now. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, now you're, now you're baiting everybody, okay, right, as to right, what that is, okay? Right. But planting trees and shrubs is really something, you know, they can be a positive or a negative, what mm -hmm. it really comes down to for your yard. If you do it right, it can really be a wonderful accent, okay, Correct. for the looks of your outside, for that curb appeal that mm -hmm. people talk about all the time. Mm -hmm. But if you put things, but if you put the wrong plant in the wrong, wrong place, plant. man, it can be really detrimental. Right. And we've probably all have seen some of that, mm -hmm. okay, as you out get out and wander around and look at things. Mm -hmm. uh, so planning is really important, isn't it, Ellen? It is, because yeah. remember, this isn't short term. Yeah, you're, you're right. Okay, <laughs> this is this is for the long run, right? Right. right. You know, um, 30, 40 years, probably these the things I planted in my yard are probably going to be after the long go, long gone after, um, I'll be long gone. <laughs> right, you'll be long gone before the trees. <laughs> right. I didn't want to figure out how to say that right. <laughs> Again, okay. it's a daunting thought, yes. Right. But what are some of the things we need to think about? Well, um, first of all, why do you want to plant a tree in your lawn? What are you trying to accomplish? Okay, yeah, yeah you're right. Add yes. a little value or some appeal to your landscape. Mm -hmm. um, maybe you need a little shade. Okay. You know, maybe you've got a lot of sun in your lawn or neighborhood might be building up, building up and maybe you want a little privacy now. So mm -hmm. you plant a few trees and kind of keep the neighbors <laughs> away from your house. And again, we're talking about the environment. We want to attract some of the birds and, mm -hmm. and other animals that, that are helpful or, or beneficial in our landscape. Mm -hmm. So that's another good reason to plant a tree, I think. And, you know, some folks just like trees. Yeah, you're right. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, to a certain extent, it comes down to how much space do you have? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, some trees stay relatively small or other trees get, you know, quite tall and mm -hmm. have quite a quite a crown to them, if you will. Mm -hmm. OK. And that's the spread of the branches up above. Mm -hmm. OK. The, the trunk itself. Uh, you know, all of these trees have a little bit of a different need to them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and. It's not just how big that tree is today. What's it going to look in, you know, 10 years, 30 years, mm -hmm. 40 years, mm -hmm. you know, and beyond, okay? Right. Uh, I remember when we moved into our house, you know, f almost 40 years ago now, and, you know, and I, I wanted some sugar maples, so I, I bought them in a catalog, and they arrived, and they're just these little whips, okay, <laughs> which is a, looks like a fishing pole, you right. know? <laughs> you know, and everybody laughed. You should see those trees now. They tower over their house. And they're beautiful. So, okay. uh, you know, things do grow. Things get mm -hmm, bigger. Mm -hmm, okay? mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these trees will get 40, 50, 60 feet, mm -hmm. okay, and have quite a spread up above. Mm -hmm. So what else can you add to this, Ellen? Well, like you said, that tree is going to continue growing for many, many years. So we have to we have to be on the lookout or watch out for any overhead wires. Oh, yeah. You know, right. Panelec is always out there trimming trees around wires and, and they're not arborists. They just <laughs> cut the trees. <laughs> and we need to look out for any underground wires and other utilities because a lot of our utilities now are underground. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. you know, kind of in defense of Panelec, you know, oh, yeah. why did people plant those trees there? <laughs> right. You know, because they knew when they were going to get big or they should have thought of it anyways, right. that they're going to get cut to, you know, to keep the power lines, mm -hmm. you know, open. Oh, sure. So, yeah. I mean, yeah. it, 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 oh, goes, no, yeah. it goes both ways. Yeah. I know you do. I, I mean, that. it's just, uh, uh, it can, you got to be careful. Yeah. Right? People so, shouldn't get so upset because they're the ones that planted the trees. <laughs> yes, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or, you know, maybe the previous owner did, but right. you can see the mistakes. Right. Sometimes I think they're be better off just taking these trees down, period, mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. opposed to trimming them mm -hmm. and maybe starting with something more appropriate in the yard. Yeah. Uh, I, I know that's it gets to be pricey to do that, but whatever. <clears throat> and, but it's not just overhead wires and no. utilities. It's it can be things like sidewalks, sidewalks and driveways and patios. Yeah, being lifted, you yeah. know, and 
by the by the root system and etc and stuff like that mm -hmm. you know trees rubbing against the the house and the garage and on and on and on you know and you know, then you got to think about the trees what kind of some okay. trees are messy yes i i, I mean just Plain out Plain messy. Out messy. Yes, <laughs> right. They, they all have leaves. Of fruit and yeah. Some of them have fruit. Some of them have fruit that's good. Some of them have fruit that's stinky. Right. Okay. Like the ginkgo trees. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, some of them have hard nuts and some of them have, you know, those even pine cones. Well, the pine uh, cones are a pain. Yes, they are. <laughs> and you, did you ever run them over with your mower? Yes. It sounds like running over a rock. Uh -huh. So, uh, I mean, those are some of the things that you obviously need to think of. We've mm -hmm. got a couple more things to chime in on, but Ellen, we're, we're already running out of time. So okay. we're going to cut it off right here. We're going to pick up on this topic uh, you know, in our next program because we think this is really important that you really need to think about some of these things before you go out and plant these trees and shrubs. So thank you for listening. Bye-bye.